All right, guys. A couple weeks into the Church I See series. Yes, we um, are. It's been, cool. it's been pretty good. We talked about prayer this past week and, yep. and the vision and the mission. And um, it's been good. What's been the uh, feedback so far that we've been hearing from everybody? Well, this past week, I had a couple people just come up and said, hey, it's just so nice to hear the uh, strategy behind prayer yeah. uh, for their life. And um, just kind of going deeper and um, going through the personal prayer guide, mm. right? So we really covered points one and two, the personal prayer guide, which we rolled out in week two. Yeah. And um, so just kind of coming through week one, mission, see our cities transformed by the power of the gospel, the glory yeah. of God, generation. Week two, our vision, how we fulfill our mission, which the vision is to build a community of people's life around the presence of God. And I've been practicing it. I've been looking at it a lot. <laughs> week three, we three pray first. And so just the feedback from, from pray first, just putting the, that in the, into practice, yeah. putting prayer into practice, what it looks like and not just going before the Lord without strategy. That's what we're trying to yeah. really accomplish with, the, um, with week two, the vision. And roll up the personal prayer guide, and we have to pray first of just having a strategy, not just coming and what do I do, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's been good. Yeah, practically speaking, it's been good to apply to our personal lives too, not just corporately. So yeah, it's been good to see people week to week um, just come back, just hungry for more. Yeah, that's the fun part of going through these values, is because they're really they're driven to be behavior driven they're, yeah. they're meant to, to help us to reflect on how we should operate and how we should behave how we should act as believers uh, and specifically here at journey we're saying we want to be a group of people that does life around the presence of God mm. but this is how we want to do it we want to be people that walk in these type of values and, and announcing this weekend this past week just pray first and um, Pastor Eric will be rolling out the next one this next week but just uh, these values are just help us to learn like how, how we are to, to operate as a church what we're gonna look like as a body of believers so it's been fun pray we'll be first. talking about servant leadership be good. Yeah. Speaking of that, prayer, we say what? Pray first. Yeah. In every situation, whether good or bad, we pray before we act. Prayer is our first response, not our last resort. So, I mean, what does it mean for us to pray first? Yeah, I think prayer first, like, it's just, it can be so simple. Like, it's just, you know, I think we get so caught up in, uh, you know, these right moments to pray or, or maybe or would you bless my agenda? Yeah. Would you yeah. bless yeah. my agenda? I'm, over, I'm like, already going ahead and make the decision and Lord, just come alongside with me. And would you bless what I'm doing right now? Right. Instead of Lord, what is, what's your will yeah. for the situation? Yeah. Where, do you, where do you want me to go? Like, what do you want to do? And that's really the value of like saying, cause it's so simple. Like yeah. we don't, we don't, a lot of times we don't really, Pray. We say that we pray first, yeah. but we don't really pray we first. Really, we so pray the value in is there. The value there is not to yeah. pray in crisis, yeah. but to pray first to yeah. get right. the Lord's will. Yeah, and it's, it is. It's so simple, but I mean, if we actually really lived our lives around that and did it, um, it would save us a lot of pain and heartache, yeah. and trouble. Yeah, it's, it's so. praying when you wake up. It's praying before you know you travel somewhere. Yeah. It's praying before you make a decision. It's praying before you respond to that post on social media yeah. that frustrated you, that made you mad. It's it's praying before that that job promotion or, or that idea. It's really saying, Lord, you are in control of my life. I am just a vessel to be used by you. And where are you guiding me? Where are you taking me? How would you yeah. have me act in a situation like this? How, how am I supposed to respond to this in a Christ-like manner? And it's it's praying first. It's, it's pausing before you take an action. That's I love good. this phrase, like, uh, uh, practice the pause. Like, get really good at pausing before you act. And, and reflecting in that pause to spend time in prayer. Like, when you see that thing, like, hey, you know, I need to I need to stop here for a minute. I need to pause. Yeah. Uh, my flesh wants to respond this way. My, yeah. my desire is to take that promotion my desire is, is because this is good it's got to be what God wants for me right but it's, it's it's saying Lord you know what I'm gonna bring this to you first and I'm gonna bring it to, to see what you would have in my life and how you want to use me yeah that's a ton of wisdom right there too pray first man that's practice what's about it's yeah about. so you had to lead Sunday you preached on um, prayer uh, why don't you pray first quick recap man yeah so uh, talked about where are we going when yep. we pray which the goal uh, is to get into the secret place it's really uh, part of the tabernacle prayer. We don't really have time to dive in all that, nor do I want to. But uh, <laughs> getting into uh, the Holy of Holies. So yeah. the, the Lord asked the people of Israel to build um, a place for his dwelling. And it's really getting to that place where we're just in communication 
with God. Yeah. And we sense His presence and we know that we're there and He's able to talk. And the thing is though, we can't put too much pressure on ourselves to get into that place because not every single day do I get there um, at all. So yeah. where are we going? We're going into the secret place. We're trying to get into the Holy of Holies, getting into His presence, but not putting too much pressure on that, right? Yeah. And then how do you pray? We talked about, um, we pray in the Holy Spirit, we pray using our prayer language. Why? Because it edifies us, it builds us up. Yeah. And uh, I kind of said too, uh, if you're like me, after five, 10 minutes, you run out of things to say anyways sure. to pray. Yeah. And so your prayer language is a beautiful thing going back and forth between English and your prayer language. Yeah. And I mean, it really just increases that time with the Lord. Um, and then using the Lord's Prayer as a, a model to pray through. Yeah. Nowhere in scripture do you see anyone ever verbatim repeat the Lord's Prayer again, but yeah. we're using it as a model to pray through. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name, holy is your name. Uh, if the angels are in uh, the <clears throat> secret place, if in the Holy of Holies, then how much more should we just call out who God is? He's holy, uh, your kingdom come, your will be done, which is really part of praying first, is yeah. we're praying God's will be done and not just going after and doing whatever we want to do. And then uh, we just kind of went through that whole thing, the Lord's Prayer. Yeah. Um, so it was, it was a good Sunday. Yeah, no, what I love too, like the Lord's Prayer is just a great everyday model for prayer. Like it's, it's like I said, I mean, you went through this Sunday, but it carries you through all the steps. But you know, when we did this Pray First book, uh, like a, uh, a year or two ago, I'm not sure when we did yeah, it, but uh, there's several models in here. There's the Lord's Prayer, the Tabernacle Prayer, praying scripture, praying the prayer of Jabez, warfare prayers. like. There's several models like how you pray and really all we're trying to do is help equip people with like pray. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Like yeah, it do yeah. something like you need to get in this intimacy with the Lord. You need to have communication with them and then take away this this intimidation factor of what do I pray or how do I pray? Like like find a model that works for you, find a time that works for you, find a place that works for you yep. and pray. Pray first. Go into it before even any other situation. Go and move into that time of prayer. Um, but that that's you know, I like the model because it just makes it easy. But also I think it helps, you know shift our mindset a little bit to to recognizing what prayer is it's it's this intimacy with the lord it's getting to that place um you know i think a question that a lot of people ask is like what is like how do i be effective in my prayer life so like yeah. what, what 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 makes an effective prayer uh and i would simply just say you know effectively prayer you said the sunday is it's showing up <laughs> you know what i mean it, it's going it's being there it's it's going to him it's and being and, real and authentic having a real conversation that's right with the lord. uh i think prayer too it, it becomes more effective when when we uh, when we stop using it as a substitute for obedience, like I think sometimes like people use prayer as like a as a fallback and like it's this the secondary thing. But this whole part of praying first is allowing it to lead us to obedience, allowing us to to respond yes, to how He's calling us to walk. And it's not just this oh I prayed about it, but it's rather I prayed about it and now it's calling me to action. It's calling me to yeah. obedience to walk in how He's called me to walk. And I think that's where the righteousness comes from. Like that's where. You know, in James, you know, the, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. It's yep. it's that person that goes to him and walks in obedience and the Lord responds to it because they are an effective person in their prayer life. They they are a righteous person in their prayer life and, yep. and that causes the obedience. I mean, we walk in it and, it and we see it in our prayer lives. We see the fruit of it in our prayer lives, but it's good. So what, what type of posture do we need in prayer? Uh, it's so simple. Yeah. Uh, humility. I mean, that's where, <laughs> that's where yeah. it all stems from. I mean, you're you're coming before the Lord realizing that uh, it's Him who provides everything that we could possibly ever need. That uh, our talents, our giftings, whatever we have, it's all His anyways. And so yeah. we're coming before Him realizing that we can't do anything without Him. And that's why we're praying first. So simple answers. Just we're coming before the Lord with a posture of humility. And which is really easier said than done. Um, it really is. Yeah. It's hard to be humble at times, especially when you feel like you, you, you're in control, you know? Yeah. And, I, and I'm going to go and I'm going to try to figure this out. Yeah. I'm going to will it. Yeah. I'm going to uh, just power through it, right? Uh, and when God's just saying, man, uh, just lay back, uh, let me take control, yeah. and let's just go, right? Yeah. And, and that's what we, when you feel like you're carrying too much, when you feel like life is, uh, is heavy, it just means you're trying to do too much and yeah. you need to give something up to the Lord and let yeah. Him carry your burden. Let Him carry um, and, and lead you and guide you in the direction you're supposed to go. So the posture we have to have with that is just humility. That's good. You know? And we, when we really abide in Christ, we live, really live um, for Him and for His glory. We're really truly doing that. Um, life's just so much more yeah. uh, enjoyable. 
Yeah. Right. And I think that even ties back into what you know, kind of what I was talking about a moment ago. What is an effective prayer, right? It's it's recognizing that it's not us. You know what yeah. I mean? It's nothing yeah. that we're. It's not through our perfection that we see effectiveness in our prayer, but it's rather honestly, it's our position in Christ. It's who He has established us. It's it's this intimacy that we have with Him that we are now in this humility place because it's it has nothing to do with me. <laughs> you know what I mean? It has nothing to do with with what I bring to the table, but rather my willingness to do it. My my hum, my humility to recognize that this this isn't me doing. This is the Lord working through. This is of our position in Christ that He allows us to see the fruit of these prayers, to see answers, uh, to see answers come to our prayers because it's it's Him working through us and not the prayer that we pray necessarily, uh, but rather the posture of our heart to have that humbleness to go to Him. Yeah, no, that's good. Um, what happens, here's a question, what happens when I don't know what to pray? When you don't know what to pray, that's why you use your prayer language. If yeah. you don't have your prayer language yet, it's very simple. Just yeah. ask the Lord every single day for it, and I just believe the Lord is going to uh, give it to you. It, the effectual for of a righteous man, you used that earlier. Yeah. Availeth much. Uh, the persistent widow, uh, used that on Sunday. That she came before the king every single, every single day asking, and the Lord yeah. granted her. She, he said, Jesus said, use it, tell the story, of pray like this. And so, just use your prayer language. If you don't have it yet, ask for it. Yeah. Um, but then I also think too, like, it's okay to be silent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like it's okay yeah. to like. You know, sometimes you don't have to know what to pray just to go before Him, to be in His presence. Sometimes, it's, as you kind of talked about this weekend even, it's, it's that hallowed be your name. It's just declaring you are holy. It's recognizing who you are in my life yeah. and putting Him, seating Him at the position He is in your life. And so it's not, I, I need to have this this perfect prayer, this perfect model, uh, but rather it's it's being in that moment and in that presence to, to go and have that relationship with Him, to, to see Him move. It's, it's not about, you know, the... The fancy language or the specific words. I think we get so caught up in like, you know, so and so prays better than me, or yeah. they use this language better. Or like, I don't know how to pray like that, or I don't like, I don't want to pray out loud because you know I don't pray like they do. And I think that's really, in my opinion, that's a that's an, a trick of the enemy to get us uh, caught up in prayer and to make us think that we're not worthy of prayer, make us think that we don't have the right words of prayer. Or he doesn't respond to our prayers, um, but rather it's the intimacy with the Lord, is that relationship, that showing up is what makes it effective. It's what makes Christ, you know, do the work through it, and it just. That's you know when we pray, like it's, yeah. a, it's it's praying you know just your heart. It's praying what's on your mind. It's it's not this this fancy terminology, but still okay being in the silence in the mist and uh, just receiving from them. Uh, I mean, you mentioned a relationship. Like as you're praying, you're developing that relationship. You're developing yeah. that rhythm in daily uh, in your daily life with them. So it, it might look different from day to day. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, sometimes we get into the secret place, and sometimes we don't. Sometimes we are in a. a uh, a moment of, of just silence. You're learning how to have a conversation That's it. with God. Just yeah, like yeah. you learn a conversation. It's gotta be nice. You had to learn how to conversation with your spouse I mean, before you got married. You had to learn how to conversation with, with anyone. You're yeah. building a relationship, right? And that's part of it with, with the Lord. Yeah. Um, it's like what you were saying, just remove the pressure of what you think it might look like. What yeah. yours looks like is not the same as mine and, and yeah. each yeah. other. So it's good just developing what um, how you, what's sustainable, you right. know? Yep. And we're, and one thing of the aspect of prayer is we're really partnering with God with what yeah. He's already done yeah, on the true. cross. We're simply ambassadors that God has sent to this world. And that's why He said, hey, pray like this, because there yeah. is a need for us to pray. Yeah. It's not that He's sovereign, He's going to do whatever. Yes, He's sovereign, absolutely, He's sovereign yeah. over all, but He's looking for people to partner with yeah. in order to fulfill His will. Uh, so he says, hey, pray like this. Use the Lord's Prayer, right? Then in, you see Jesus also, he said, uh, pray for the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Yeah. There's so many instances where he just says, pray, 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 pray. Because the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. But what must we do? We must first pray. pray. It starts there. Mm. Right? It starts That's with prayer. Good. That's why everything starts with pray. Pray first. Yeah. It's given us the responsibility to do that with him. Mm -hmm. So, And that's a privilege. What a privilege it is, yeah. Yeah, you get to see it happen. But, um, so looking ahead, Sunday's coming. Uh, we're continuing the church I see and the value of servant leadership. Yep. Uh, Pastor Eric's got the lead. Yep. Uh, it's going to be exciting. Big man back at the pulpit. Back at it. Um, yeah, it's going to be an enjoyable Sunday. We're looking forward to what's coming. Um, if you guys are enjoying these table talks, let us know. We'd like some feedback on this. 
Um, if it's helping you in your spiritual walk, we want to know. They have to enjoy it, bro. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's us, no way around right? It. Come on. It's the only reason I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> if they're still around, then it's good. If you made it at this point, we're good. <laughs> we'll see you guys Sunday. Yep.